everybody, this is Roxy, and I am just going to um, make a little booklet out of some Halloween things I found on Pinterest. Um, I laid this out on a um, in a software called Pages. I think it's about twenty dollars online. I, probably at the Apple Store, I suppose. But anyways. <clears throat> So it has where you can set up newsletters or brochures or whatever. So I kind of just used this from their template, but then I made my own booklet out of it instead of just a eight and a half by eleven uh, newsletter. So I have like the first section is decorations. So I just found some cute decorations online. I just made a template for the holes. I'm just gonna sew this like as in book binding 101. And I'm not even going to get too crazy about it. I thought it'd be fun, too, if I have time to make some of these little booklets up for the um, the upcoming vintage sale that we have. And I thought, wouldn't it be fun for Christmas? And I mean, who doesn't love Pinterest? All the ideas are right there just waiting for us to scrap lift or as... Steffi, what did Steffi call it? Scrapjack. <laughs> like hijack? I think that's funny. Okay, so I'm just poking my holes. And then I'm going to do like a um, cover, embossed cover um, with some um, Tim Holtz grunge or um, coordinations. And one of my. Um, what you call it? Uh, what did we call it? Okay, I'm not even thinking. Embossing folder. And I got those holes off a little bit, so that's not a big deal. It's not going to kill anything. There. Alright, so here's that, and I will be back. Okay, so I have my basic little booklet. Um, I'm <clears throat> just using orange coordination. I'm going to fan the spider web. That's just a cuddle bug. I know is it Tim Holtz? I don't know. I don't know who did it, but that's a spider web embossing folder. Then I have this little guy. That's a Tim Holtz. And I just did the part that said costume, October, Halloween, trick or treat. And I can put that on the cover with one of these from the Graphic 45. I think I might use that one maybe or... One of these cards are cute. So, then I have this old, old thread. I mean, this is like probably from my mom's sewing bin. And it's, I use it once in a while. It's really thick, thick, thick black mercerized cotton. So I don't know if she used it to truss up the turkey or what, but it's pretty thick. <clears throat> so I'm just going to sew. Wish me luck. Sew this up. <laughs> you know what i got to do first? Just poke my holes. I had to put a middle piece in here because when I folded the coordinations it tore a little bit but I think it'll be okay I think what I might do is put some glossy accents on that when I'm done <coughs> just to reinforce it so this will be tricky because I'm only going to do it I'm not going to do it in any kind of fancy order how you're supposed to. 
So I know you're supposed to go this way and that way and in and out and whatnot, but we're just going to wing it. So I will be back. Okay, for my software video, as I mentioned, I used Pages, which is a Apple product. And you can use, um, like this is the page templates, and this is actually the template I used. Just only, only because I wanted this heading um, that I used here for my pages. Otherwise, I killed everything else, deleted everything else, I should say. You know, I just went through and deleted everything and then created my own layout. Um, this is, like I said, pages. You could also use um, WordPerfect or Microsoft Word, I mean, because they have templates too. So you can, you know, you could use a, kind of a newsletter format for your book. Or as I did, um, I sh I'll show you how I set up my pages. So this is my first, I actually moved these around. So I don't know where those uh, saved ones are. Anyways, so what I did is I created, this is, um, I created four plain boxes so I could divide the page into four sections. So that when I printed it, it would print out, this is uh, landscape, not um, vertical. Or, uh, yeah, it's horizontal, not vertical. It's instead of portrait, it's landscape. So I, I wanted to um, print this out, and then I cut the paper in half this way, and then folded here. So as you can see, the first two pages are the um, party favor or decorations. And then, then I go into treats, and I left the last page blank. Um, so if the person that receives it wants to put notes or paste their own um, project there, so I left those blank. And then the last page of treats have all four items on it. And then when I got to cowgirls, okay, so like these two pa this page, I would print this page turn the paper around and print this on the other side. And then same with treats, print this page, turn it around, print the other side. And then with cow costumes, I did the girls on top, boys on bottom, printed that page, and then turned it around and printed this page on the back so that I still could cut across here and fold down here for my pages. So um, that was just a simple template. You could certainly do this, like I said, in Word. And there's other, you know, design software. But if you have a Mac, 20 bucks for a design software is a steal. So here is my book. Let me just get this down here if I can. Let's see how far I can go. Okay, that's not going to, it's not a lot of light. So I'm going to do it just like this. Okay, so here's my book. Um, again, I use the uh, embossing folder and um, coordinations, and I just have a little bit of um, little pumpkin bling, and this is just from uh, the Happy Hauntings collection, and I just glossy accented the little bat and the little witch girl, and then I just um, added pumpkin face. Those are just the cutouts from my another book I did. Uh, I cut out a pumpkin off the Cricut. And here is um, are my pages. As you can see, these are really fun projects. Let me just get this turned. Okay. And these, the projects I've found are really inexpensive. There's where they can add notes. Super inexpensive projects, okay? Like this, <clears throat> this is a, a witch's broom treat holders, a lunch bag and a twig and some twine. That's all you need in the candy. <clears throat> 
for the um, two by four monsters. These are just two by four <clears throat> pieces of wood, excuse me. And then you paint them, put them onto a base, and you could use thickers down here or, you know, cut out with your Cricut or other die cut. Um, aren't they cute? Just love them. And luminaries, another simple one, milk jugs with a hole cut out towards the back of the jug. And then you just shove um, Christmas lights, you know, strand of Christmas lights into the back after you magic marker the face. These I've made last year, and when people came to the house, they were so smitten with them that they wanted to take one home. And or I just gave them one to take home because they're so easy, so cute. And it's a piece of material wrapped around toilet paper roll. And then I used um, paper lunch bag. I twisted it up like a branch, and it really looked cute. Or I think this is cinnamon sticks, so that'd be easy too. And then candy jugs, again, um, different bottle shapes, you know, plastic bottles. Eyes in the bushes, this is a $1.50 project. You can just use your toilet paper rolls and cut out eyes, and then I bought some glow bracelets at Michael's for $1.50 in their $50.50 bin. Simple placemat. You can cut this out of construction paper or um, black paper or felt. And then I suggest um, if you do paper to cover it with contact paper. Okay, zombie cakes. Just a chocolate cupcake. Oh, sorry about my thumb. I Here's a tip. Black gesso is really runny. It's it's more liquidy than white gesso and when I opened it it went all over. So um but this is just I suggest um just buying some little dolls at a dollar store and busting off their hands and their face and their feet and whatnot and stuff shoving them in a cupcake or a muffin. Um swamp water is just a fun little punch. Isn't that cool? With some gummy worms and gummy fish. Witch's fingers. That's just a latex glove filled with water thrown in the frid freezer. And then you just make your punch. Bloody Rats is actually the porcupine meatball recipe in Betty Crocker, but you shape it into a rat. And then these are cute um, ghost eyeball donuts. You just buy a box of donut holes, um, stick them on a fork. Dip them in some melted white chocolate, <coughs> shove in a little chocolate chip for the eyeball, and squiggle with some red gel. And then these are really inexpensive costumes. Oops. Sorry about that. There. Mario Brothers, Easy Spider-Man, and they're easy. Ninja, that's just a sweat sh um, sweatshirt, sweatpants, and you put the black t-shirt on that's the whole of the, the neck of the t-shirt and you just kinda stick it on their face like that and then tie it in the back or cinch it in the back cute little cowgirl outfit and this is too adorable a little tiny Audrey Hepburn isn't that cute and then I found um, a friend of mine found a tool, an easy tool pattern on Pinterest so I'm going to um, add that link onto this book so Lisa can, I'm giving it to a friend Lisa so she can, um, I don't know that she's got boys so I don't know if she's going to be making tool skirts anyway so scratch that. But this is an easy big oversized sweatshirt. You can use the arm of the sweatshirt for the hat and then you make, um, you can either um, find big puff balls or make your own little pom poms out of a skein of white yarn and look at that little pumpkin cutie. Isn't that cute? This one is all over Pinterest and there's a good reason for that. She's just adorable in that pumpkin outfit. So that's my little booklet I made and I think they're I think it's gonna be fun. Um, I'm going to make some for Christmas. I think that'd be fun. Some real, you know, kind of affordable, easy um, treats and decorations and you know um, Christmas time you can use wear hats and sweatshirts and whatnot so um, that is my um, Pinterest idea book for Halloween thanks for watching bye